Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is Tuesday afternoon, and here are today's notices. And today's notices are primarily about co-curriculum, because from tomorrow afternoon, the location of some of your co-curriculum activities will be moving. And the reason that some of them will be moving is we are making some changes to prep. So, listen very carefully. All of this will be explained on this notice board here behind me. That's the co-curriculum notice board. From tomorrow, that's not today, that's tomorrow. If you are in year 11, there are two different possibilities for prep. The majority of you will be in independent prep. Um, and you know what that means. Independent prep means you can study in the sixth form study area upstairs in this building. Or, if you are not in independent prep, that means you are in supervised prep. Because you want to keep a very close eye on you. If you're in year 11 and in supervised prep, you'll be expected to report to house reception in your house for the prep session. So if you're in Milton Fawcett, you go to house reception in Milton Fawcett. Brunel Herschel, you go to house reception in Brunel Herschel. So that we can keep a very close eye on you. That's the two options for your own prep. That's your middle grade, independent or your supervised. Likewise, year 10. You are independent or supervised. There is no middle ground for year 10. If you are an independent prep, this starts tomorrow, not today. You will do your prep in Humanities 1, Humanities 2, Humanities 3. Uh, you will go to Humanities 1, 2 or 3. That's for independent prep for Year 10. If you're in Year 10 and we think you can't work independently, your housemasters will place you in supervised prep. And if you're in Year 10 in supervised prep, you go to Science 1. That's Mrs. Dawson's Science Lab. Um, so Year 10 is either independent prep in uh, Humanities Corridor or supervised prep in Mrs. Dawson's Science Lab. There's no middle ground for Year 10 and you don't get to choose your housemasters have chosen. How will you know which prep you are in? Well, tomorrow the lists will be on this board. They're not there yet, but housemasters are deciding now and your lists will be on the board tomorrow. Also, Year 10 and 11. If you are an independent prep, some of you may wish to use the computer room. The computer room will not be available for every prep session because there are activities and clubs in there sometimes. However, if there is no activity or club in there, then you may go to Milton Fawcett Reception where you will met, be met by either Mrs. DeCosta or Mrs. Fletcher Dyer, who will sign you into the computer room exactly as if you're borrowing a Chromebook. So you don't go straight to the computer room, you go and sign in at Milton Fawcett Reception, and then if you're in 11 or 10 in independent prep, you may use the computer room as well. So, that means I've got Year 10 doing prep in that corridor over there in Milton Fawcett, I've got Year 11 upstairs, but I've got a whole load of activities that were taking place in Milton Fawcett in the Humanities classrooms that are going to be needed to be relocated. Well, all of them have been relocated. If you come and look at this notice board, and you all need to check this prior to tomorrow afternoon's co-curricular, that's Wednesday afternoon's co-curricular, you will see that all of these things have new rooms. So for example, if we look at Tuesday, Tuesday's a bad example, let's say, let's look at Wednesday tomorrow afternoon. Geography Society, that was in Miss Lunny's classroom, that's now being re relocated to English 2. That's on this corridor. Uh, again, Poetry Society, I think that was upstairs in this building, that's now in English 4. Philosophy Society, that wasn't Humanities 1, that's now in English 1. So we've relocated all of those things, so you need to check the new location, and staff do too, and go to the correct location from tomorrow, not today, for your activities. That's everybody. Now, Year 11 and 10, I've told you where you go for prep. That doesn't cover year 7, 8, and 9 yet. 7, 8, and 9, the same rule covers all year groups. 7, 8, and 9, there are three options. You might be in independent prep, you might be in monitored prep, or you might be in supervised prep. And the list of who is where will go up tomorrow. The majority of you will be in monitored prep. Prep. That's where we keep an eye on you, but we don't check every single bit of everything that you're doing. Monitored prep is going to be in the following rooms from tomorrow. If you're in Brunel, you go to MFL 2. If you're in Fawcett, you go to MFL 1. If you're in Herschel, you go to Maths 4. And if you're in Milton, you go to Maths 3. So all of those are on the Maths corridor. There are a couple of prep sessions in the week when those rooms are going to be full, but we have some overflow rooms there ready for you in those sessions. So that's where you go for monitored prep, and that's the majority of you in years 7, 8, and 9. Not all of you. 
though, because some of you in 7, 8 and 9 will be selected for independent prep, where you don't need so much supervision. If you're an independent prep in year 7, 8 or 9, you go to the Humanities Corridor, and there'll be space there. If you're an independent prep in 7, 8 and 9, you go to Humanities, and if you're in supervised prep in 7, 8 or 9, you go to Science. What's Mr. Day? Hello, Mr. Day. Hi. Um, makes sense? So... That's the prep locations. You need to come and check where your activities are going to be from tomorrow on this notice board. And uh, those activity lists that start tomorrow are already up here. Tomorrow we'll also put up the list of who is in which type of prep. That's pretty much it for me today, apart from to plug one new co-curriculum club, which is Dungeons and Dragons Club. That's starting on a Thursday afternoon, second half co-curriculum, so 4.45 on Thursday. If you'd like to join Dungeons and Dragons Club, get a change slip completed. Um, I will sign you into Dungeons and Dragons Club. So if you sign, get a signature from the person who's active so you're leaving, and then get a signature uh, from me to say you can join, and we'll get you updated on the list. Get that back to your form sheet. So that starts on Thursday, and it'll be in Milton Hall, so common room over there. And also, I want to plug my Mindful Musical Meditation Club, which is on a Tuesday afternoon. Now, we had a few people in the first week, and then I cancelled the second week, and nobody showed up in the third week. But here's what I'm going to say for Mindful Musical Meditation. It is a great chance just to chill out, relax, close your eyes and let the worries of the world escape you as we listen to some beautiful music. Um, I've promised that I'm going to find a better venue because I don't think it works in the classroom and the good news is that I have a venue for Mindful Musical Meditation but it won't be ready until next Tuesday. So there's no Mindful Musical Meditation today, that's, I'm really sorry but that's the last time. Next Tuesday Mindful Musical Meditation starts up again um, in a venue to be confirmed, it's my secret venue, I'll tell you what it is next week, but if you need time in your week to chill out, forget about the worries of the world, to close your eyes and drift away and just have some quiet time, Mindful Musical Meditation is for you and that starts again next Tuesday, I will sign you into it but you need to bring me a change slip, um, that's it from me today, have a lovely afternoon, see you all Take care. Bye.